the creation of the ten dimensions or constructing reality. We were told there are ten dimensions, but how did these arise? Now we can go back to the creation of these three transcendental numbers. We've got I, which is the superposition. The point, the point, the point, the superposition. Schrodinger's box. And then you have the point, which is I. And here, we're in the realm of the transcendental. You know, this is the structure of our minds, of our consciousness. It's how our minds are constructed to create the ten dimensions of reality. So we have these three transcendental numbers, pi, e, and phi. So you've got the superposition i, you've got pi, so any movement at that point creates the line. That line appears to be on a surface, a background, and that line fades, which is E, the transcendental, uh, sorry, the, the exponential. And this is seen, this is the fifth dimension, by phi. So phi is seeing harmony in nature, in the, in the golden mean, the golden section, the Fibonacci series, you know, nature. And this phi is built into, into consciousness, into the mind, into our awareness, our perception of reality, of these ten dimensions, begins with the creation of the light, from the, the point in mind to seeing the point in mind, that one point. And then, seeing that point move, that point of light move on a black background. And then that line drawing, which is the function of this, this line, is cartooning to, to draw something on the background, on the surface. So this is the second dimension. When we perceive that drawing, and there we are. The eye seeing the point move on the background. In creating the cartoon memories, creating the cartoon structures of how we view reality, which is this function. Cartoon structures we not we normally refer to as the video signal. So from the creation of the light to the movement of that point of light, create a line to draw something on on the plane. That is the basic structure of our minds. It is through those three transcendental numbers, those three transcendental values, that our mind is created and the projection of the ten dimensions appears. So the creation of these three trans transcendental numbers to create light in consciousness at a point on the back background. When we see this point move, this is the quantum level. This is the quantum level. But when we see that point, when we see its movement, it will move and then stop. We, we see that movement and stopping as a waveform. So we go from the quantum level into the waveform. We move around, but then we get, you know, over, over time we get these different images. 
So we build up this three-dimensional model, the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight. So it's in this triangle, which is the audio signal, the waveform. So it's the waveform, which is the audio signal, which is the sphere of relativity, what we call relativity, the awareness of sound, hearing, a vibration of the wave, the consciousness of the wave. And from this wave, we get a pressure signal, a pressure variation. And that comes on to the final one. Which is seven, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. And they're the ten dimensions. So the ten dimensions spring from the transcendentals by projection. Transcendentals themselves create the, fir the first, second, third, where well, I get the point zero, one, to two, and the fifth dimension in order to see the image. And then the repetition of that creates space-time, which is the audio, the audio signal. And this variation in, in, in the wave creates pressure, which gives us a sense of touch. So these are the, remember, these are the distant senses, smell, hearing, heat. And these are the contact senses, touch, taste, and p posture. So from the transcendental numbers, polarizing the dark energy, we create this, the light and its movement in mind, its apparent movement, its quantum activity in mind. That is then translated or made up into a composite image of stills to create space and time. And this movement of the stills is visually patterned in the time. That's the third, fourth, eight, and seventh dimension. From the creation of the wave, we get a pressure. And the, the wave gives an idea of fl fluid. Everything is fluid. So we understand everything is fluid. Everything in terms of fluid mechanics. And that fluid gives pressure. And that pressure, we have the hands, object, energy position. So in ordinary reality, we have an eye, and we see that cartoon drawing, the line on the plane. Then we build up the image of space and time and the energy, the moving around from different places, at different energy levels. And then we, in each position, each moment in time, we, we, can, we have our hands that we can feel objects in certain positions. That's how we construct reality.